Well, well, well. It's been a long time, huh? I'm I'm scrapping that. I'm scrapping. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do so many takes of this. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I really don't even know how I want to start off this video. There's so many talking points that y'all haven't seen me since what? July of last year. So much has happened within that time period up until now. It's almost a whole year not even a whole year i mean it'll be a year in july but it's almost a full year since i last uploaded on this channel it's kind of crazy it's kind of crazy how i just let it die out like that i have had other endeavors though you know i, have, I haven't been doing just nothing um with my life um there's so much that has been going on i'm gonna get a little bit into it um but i kind of wanted to just record this because it felt right in the moment sat down with myself i actually kind of slept on it i slept on it you know what i'm gonna, I'm gonna record an update video today um, I'm not the best for words, so please don't mind me if I stutter or anything like that. But um, yeah, I really wanted to give y'all an update as to what this channel is, everything going on regarding my life and all that, all that stuff, you know? I've had a conversation recently with my boy Sensei, shouts out Sensei. We've had a conversation recently about our content and content creation in general, and so much has ran through my mind these last few days, and um, I really just wanted to get it out. Um, really give y'all an explanation as to what happened or not even an explanation I don't even think it's an explanation kind of thing it's just more of a update on how things have been going for me why I haven't been uploading on this channel I don't even like I said I don't even know where to begin I'm gonna start here though I want to shout out to everybody who's been in my circle you know treehouse love those dudes to death Brianna in regards to the channel I do want to say I did kind of let it die down um and it was because of a few things I think lack of direction is one of the things that uh really skewed my mind as to what I want to do in my content because trust me I love gaming I, I I'm a gamer at heart but um it kind of got hard for me for a while uh when it comes to gaming videos and recording gaming videos and just sitting down in front of a like how I'm doing right now like sitting down in front of this camera is kind of awkward for me right now because I'm not used to doing it I've been streaming on Twitch not that much I haven't even streamed on Twitch as much as I have before uh I just feel like my content in general has taken a back burner. There was a point where I would, you know, stress myself out on, you know, what I want to record or how I want to record certain things, and it just took a, it took, it took a toll. It took a toll on on my mental and my mental approach when it comes to, you know, this whole content thing, uh, and this channel specifically. You know, I didn't have any direction on where I wanted to go. Like there was a moment, right, beginning of last year, I uploaded twice. You know, those are two videos I thought would be fire. Well, I did enjoy those videos, you know, editing those videos and stuff like that. But um, it was like after that hit, it was like after that January, I hadn't uploaded until July. And that February, March, April, May, June felt like the longest because I, I did not know what I wanted to do with my content on here. I really didn't. It sucks when you come to that realization, especially since it's something that I genuinely enjoy doing. Like I genuinely enjoy making content. I love making content, but there's been so many mental blocks and it's not pertaining to anyone else. It's just strictly a me thing. And I feel like that's with anything in life, you know? Anything that you do, there's gonna be some mental, men, men, like there's gonna be a mental, aspect of it you know there's going to be that mental uh, uh doubt that you have when it comes to the new things you try or the things you want to do you know you'll you'll doubt yourself and you'll you'll really ask yourself are you really meant to do this or what it, what happens if this goes wrong what happens if that goes wrong and i've had those thoughts through my mind so so often and i remember one night um i'm sucking to to treehouse um Falk specifically brought up a point uh, that really resonated with me and, and it was about being um a perfectionist i love perfecting everything i do whether that's editing whether that's a video that i record whether it's a stream i love perfecting things that i do and, and it even trickles down to you know outside outside of content creation aspects of my life um you know being perfectionist and making sure i could get i could i could do everything to the best of my ability and i've always been like that i've always been like that even when I was younger, I worked when I worked, um, you know, it would always be that I would always want to complete everything I wanted to do perfectly. And I think that is a killer. It, it, it killed me like mentally knowing that content creation is the most, how do, what word am I looking for? It's the most unpredictable thing ever. Like there, there's so many factors that go into it. So many factors uh, that go into it and, and 
I have to realize that I cannot perfect something that's so unpredictable. Like I mentioned, I, I recently had a talk with Sensei about, you know, content and wanting to perfect it. I don't think it's a bad thing to want to do things perfectly, but it becomes a point where you're perfecting things or for in my case, when it comes to the, the videos, I'm trying to perfect these videos. I'm trying to perfect my thumbnails. I'm trying to perfect all these certain things, but perfecting them and spending my time on those things and really straining myself mentally for those things are not going to help me when it comes to the content that I want to produce. I always look at the people I, I enjoy, the Ricos, the Berlizzi, Corey, uh, you know, those, those are uh, RDC, excuse me. Those are like my favorite, favorite content creators. I really look up to those dudes when I see them and each of them had their journey and they had that slow, long grind. But when I always go back to their first videos or their first, you know, forms of content, those videos that they have are not videos that are perfect. They're not perfect videos. They're not videos that are, they'll look back on and say, oh, wow, they're, as, they're, they're, they're the same quality of what I do now. They had to work to get to the quality that they are now. Uh, you know, whether that's them editing on their own or having an editor for them, they had to develop into what they are today. The more I think about it, the more I realize, and I've seen so many people talk about, you know, just post your first 50 videos. Your first 50 videos are not supposed to be good. Your first 100 videos are not supposed to be good. As long as you get them out, as long as you are getting that ball rolling so it becomes a routine, you're bound to get better with each step. I let that fly over my head way, way, way too often, you know? I, I had that thought of, my next video has to be perfect, and that's not the way of going about it and i feel like i i strain myself mentally so often doing that and i i feel like it trickles down to like other forms of my life too not as badly but especially when it when it came to this channel you know when it came to editing i'm not the best editor don't get me wrong i feel like i'm decent but i'm not the best and it's like i always feel like i have to perfect that video for it to do well but in that time that i'm perfecting that video i'm dropping one video a month or I'm dropping two videos a month. Even, and some people might not look at that as a bad thing, at least you're posting. But if I'm trying to consistently get on that routine or to consistently get on that grind, one, two videos a month ain't go cut it. Let's be honest. And my goals for this, my goals for content has always been the same. I've always had that wanting to, to have the same impact as the people that have an impact on me. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna give that back to, to people. And I know this is, uh, isn't the easiest thing in the world. There's still that, you know, stuff you have to sacrifice. You know, there's gonna be nights where you stay up all night editing a video or, uh, you know, making connections. Connections, I made connections, but they were not the easiest to come by. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm not socially awkward. I feel like I am introverted, but I'm not socially awkward. Um, I feel like it's really hard for me to go out of my way to, I feel like it's gotten easier, of course, but I feel like it has been hard for me to go out of my way to, you know, talk. I have to stop trying to be perfect. I have to let myself go through these growing pains, allow myself to go through these things. Even if it's a video that I don't edit, I know I could edit really good, not purposefully in a way, cause I still, you know, edit it to the best of my abilities, but not, not purposely, you know, sabotaging the video for lesser quality, but Toning it back a bit, maybe falling back a bit, really emphasizing getting my content out as opposed to perfecting the video where I put and is there all this energy into that video and then I'm not wanting to do any other videos or I'm not wanting to edit any other videos. I, I feel like I'm at a point where or I'm coming to the realization that once I get one out, keep the ball rolling. And that's the consistency. I feel like every time I talk about content now, that word comes up, consistency 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 and it becomes like okay i'm tired of hearing that word but there's a reason for that word being used as much as it is you know and uh, i feel like that's where that's where it all starts that consistency getting the ball rolling having to because like right now i could put all my effort into this video editing all this and all that i mean it's not that high of an effort video for me to edit but you know what i mean i could put all my effort into making this the best edited video i can or I could step back, get this going, and then, you know, next thing, edit it up, get the next thing going, you know what I mean? And I feel like that's the approach I would kind of want to go with with this channel. Just breaking out of my comfort zone, breaking out of my, my, my box that I put myself in, 
when it comes to or regards to i should say um this channel in general and i really have had this spark of inspiration uh, uh to to just get the ball rolling whether that be a collaboration whether that just be me getting back into the swing of things of recording in front of a camera again i really 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 want to give myself a chance because i know if i really give myself a chance i could go out and achieve anything that i want to i know it i know i can it's happened before and it's happened plenty of times in my life big aspirations big achievements that i want to set forth but i don't give myself that chance once i give myself that chance i give myself the ability to to tell myself you can do these things you just got to build a routine whenever i build a routine in my life whether that be uh working out or eating healthy it's always benefited me in a positive way all i have to do and i have to keep telling myself this if i have to tell myself this you know every single day just go for it just do you have the capabilities to do it i just have to get out of my head you know and, and that's the battle that's going to be continuous throughout this entire journey whether that's with my channel whether that's with uh the treehouse whether that's with anything anime shouts out to anything anime y'all don't know about that <laughs> anything anime is an anime channel i have a breed it's uh you know if you guys like to check it out i'll leave the link in the description but whether it's with any content endeavor that i set myself forth with i i i i just have to give myself that chance that's that's it at the end of the day you know you can't you can't you can't succeed in anything if you don't try you can't succeed in anything if you don't give yourself a chance you know yeah y'all I, I i'm ready to i'm ready to get this channel going I'm ready to 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 really give myself that chance because I owe myself. I owe me. If nobody else owes me, I owe me. You know what I'm saying? And I really am ready. I'm really am ready. I believe in myself. And when I when I when I when I am doing what I'm doing, and I look back several years into the past, or look back several years into the, I was about to say some something crazy. But when I look back at this video, when I'm on my consistent grind, when I look back at this video. I can honestly sit here and say that I am proud of myself for achieving the things that I want to in life. Finally breaking that chain of that inconsistent nature that I have, breaking that perfectionist mentality, finally giving myself a chance. I will look back at this video. You, I'm looking at you, future me. And I am proud of you for all the things that you've accomplished. I'm proud of you for all the things that you put yourself through to get to the point where you are today. Just know, that you are capable just know that you are able just know that once you give yourself that chance to do anything you set forth you will videos will be coming back soon i'm probably gonna record a video right after this so <laughs> just look out for that i love y'all go out and achieve what you want give yourself a chance yeah you you watching this video right now if there's something that you want in your life if there's something or if you have goals that you have set for yourself take the time sit back reassess everything finally give yourself that chance because life is short you know, so go out and make the most of it. I'm going to see y'all very soon. Peace.